Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing really well. If you're new to my channel, then hello, my name is Kylie Louise. I am a mummy to one beautiful little girl and I am currently 34 weeks pregnant with my first little boy who was due in December. Now as you can tell by today's title, I have a huge Pamland haul for you. If you can see behind me, I currently have four bags of shopping to go through. So instead of me rambling, I'm going to get straight on with this video. Don't forget to grab yourself a drink and a snack and yeah, we should get on with it. So this is like a collective haul, like I've bought two bags today and then like on the weekend I got another two bags so I thought I'd put it all together so you can see what I got. It is mainly Christmas stuff just to warn you so if you're not into that then I apologise but there is other bits in there as well. So I'll start off with the smallest bag which is here. This is mainly like stuff for Gabriella for Christmas and um, these like little stocking fillers and stuff but anyway. So the first thing I bought was this Christmas stocking. Poundland now finally have all their Christmas stuff up out well out as they say um and i'm so excited for christmas this year i don't know why i think it's because we're going to have another little addition to our family and um, so it's going to be extra special um so yeah gabriella needs a new stocking um so we've bought this red one with um glitter on um the glitter does come off so do be careful with that um, but it's just a decent size um stocking to put stuff in then as a stocking stuffer we've bought this little doll um this is the sparkle squad best friends forever it does say three years plus gabriella's only two but there isn't any little bits on there from what i can see so that should be perfectly fine for her if i don't mention like if it's a different price because as you know poundland have like two pound five pound stuff if i don't mention that it's that price then everything else is just a pound so i'm not going to keep saying it then we bought these TY collectibles. Now we bought six of these. Um, there's two in the other bag, um, and she's currently already had two. Um, but they're basically just these little like collectible things. Gabriella loves playing with these. She's got loads in the mind. I think she's got like um, about ten already. But we bought six of them. Um, I bought two today, and then we bought four on the weekend. Like I said, she's already got two because she's playing with them, um, and then she had these two for her stocking and um, so we got those i bought these guyland belgium chocolate milk truffles eight chocolates these are for me to eat now because i have a thing for chocolate i've got like a really really sweet tooth i've only got six feet left in my pregnancy but um i've got like a really sweet tooth so i bought these for myself because they looked nice and i do like like the seashell kind of um chocolates from Lidl so I thought I'd give these a go because these are probably obviously higher brand. Another stocking filler for Gabriella we've got this Mulang um, collector's edition like mystery bag these are like squishy 3d keychains I only bought one there is six to collect my mum also bought one for her so she'll have two on Christmas day but again just another little stocking filler and she loves Mulang. Then I picked up three packs of these these are the four by six um frames in black you get two in a pack which is really good value for money um so basically for christmas um obviously because we've got little man coming we're not getting people much for christmas so i thought printing some pictures off and just put them in frames and wrapping them up to be for people that's like memories and something they could treasure forever something that they're, that they're always going to have so i picked up three packs where i have six frames is what, what i needed so obviously for christmas but i'm going to have two kids this year i'm not going to have one um, I'm going to have a tiny, I'm basically going to have a newborn um, and this year I want the kids to have match pyjamas so I thought that would just be cute um, and we've gone for elf themed pyjamas and like Santa and stuff like that so in the Pep and Co section we found this newborn size elf suit and I think it's so freaking cute this was, um, if I can find the tag, this was £4 which I think is an incredible value they also do a Santa one um, which says baby santa on the pocket this one says mini elf but like i said we're going for the like elf kind of theme this year um so yeah we just got to find some elf pajamas for gabriella so if you do know where i can get some affordable elf pajamas for gabriella size two to three years please let me know in the comments because we've checked in pep and co and the only size they've got is four to five or five to six because they're currently out of stock but hopefully we can get some um we're not really bothered if we can't get any for ourselves, like for me and my partner. We just want the kids to be matching so we can get a nice photo of them. So we got that for little man. 
I bought some brand new tea towels because the tea towels we've currently got um, are this, just like this print. They've got nothing else, it's just like this print here. Um, and we've had them for two years, we've had them since we've moved in here and they're getting all grubby and stuff. And I'm just getting sick of it now, um, to be honest. Um, I am going to pick up some Christmas ones near the time. Um, but this is a two pack of towels and I just thought these were pretty. They have butterflies on and then the second one is just plain like checkered I guess um yeah so these two pack of towels for a pound and that I think that's a credible value and they're great quality as well they really clean your dish as well now I know many people don't show these in their videos but this is dvds now Poundlander just bought their christmas dvds out and I don't think me and my partner have ever been so excited because we love watching dvds as you can tell that's our dvd collection up there it's literally massive and all of them are from Poundland and um, we've been collecting dvds and stuff like that um, I do ha don't have one here because I've put it in a bag for Gabriella for her uh, Christmas Eve box but we bought um, Peppa Pig um, Christmas collection um, like series so it's like um, different episodes on one CD and that was a pound for the Peppa Pig one so we picked her that up to go in her Christmas Eve box so she can watch it Christmas night or Christmas Eve night and then we picked up some more Christmas DVDs so we picked up the most this this is like a famous film for Christmas every single year. I've been watching this since I was like tiny. Um, and this is Jack Frost. Now I can't really watch this film because it makes me bawl my eyes out with tears. But this is like a traditional like Christmas movie. So we bought that one. All these were a pound, these DVDs. We bought the Santa Claus collection, which I thought was amazing. So we've got the Santa Claus. Santa Claus 2 and Santa Claus 3 so we're going to give those a watch um, and then my favourite Christmas film ever this is like I have to watch this every single year and that's Jingle All The Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger I hope that's how you say his name, yeah Arnold Schwarzenegger um, this is my favourite Christmas film it's so so funny, if you haven't seen it I do recommend it um, so yeah we got that for a pound as well um, and you're probably wondering why didn't I buy Elf? Because we've already got it on DVD. Um, but they did Elf. They did all three of the Nativity DVDs. They had so many good DVDs there. Um, but we just picked up these for now because we just thought these are like the traditional ones that we will watch. Um, so we're going to give those a watch. So we picked up the Tingle, Tingly Mint and Tea Tree Original Sauce Shower Gel. Now, if you watched my last Poundland haul, which was my first ever video on this channel, then you know I'm making hamper baskets for people this year. Um, and I've just now just got the now got the little bits that were left. That was a mouthful. So my brother absolutely loves this shower gel. Um, so I picked it up because they had it in Poundland, but I was really shocked. So I picked that up for him. Um, some tree decorations. This one's for Gabriella. And so we got her a little piggy because our Christmas colours are blue, silver and pink for like our theme. Um, and we did that last year and we loved it. So we're keeping to the theme this year as well. Um, so we got a pink pig for Gabriella. As her little brother, we went to the range and her little brother had like a blue decorations which says born in 2019. Um, so got that. This decoration here is a German Shepherd. This one's actually for my older brother because he has a German Shepherd um, and he's obsessed with them. Um, so I got him the German Shepherd um, Christmas decoration to go on my mum's tree. Um, so that's really, really cute. I've got to pass that on to him. And then I've picked up these two blue wire baskets for my hampers. Now, I went in, like I said, I went into Poundland today. Um, and they've actually ran out of these. These were the last two on the shelf when I picked them up on the weekend. But they've actually run out of these. So I'm hoping, and when we go to like a, a different store, they might have them in. Because I need one more of these. Um, if not, then I'm just going to have to use the plastic ones they got, but that'll be fine. Um, but yeah, these are for my hamper baskets to put like the stuff in. And then obviously that. So they're my hamper baskets. And now we'll go on to the stuff that I bought today. So the first thing I bought, I don't know if I'm going to get into camera, but for a pound I thought this was amazing. I bought a doormat that says Merry Christmas. Um, yes, I'm that person that goes all out. I love Christmas. And like I said, this year's extra special because we're going to have a, another family member. Obviously, we're going to have my son. 
um so i bought this huge christmas bag for a quid i thought that was amazing and that's just gonna go by our door obviously now i didn't buy this but my mum bought this for my daughter today in palmland um so i thought i'd just show it you anyway maybe it's the fluffy animals book um and basically this has just got animals in my daughter absolutely loves animals especially cats she's obsessed with cats so this is just like teaching her like what the animal is so you've got like chick and stuff like that and for a pound i thought that was really good so that's a really cute book i then picked up a pack of craft christmas cards so it comes with two designs it comes with this like reef one and it comes with like a snowball one that goes down there like that this is a 10 pack this year i'm not buying like nan cards mum cards stuff like that because obviously i need to save money because i'm gonna have a new bonnet it's gonna be like tight around christmas obviously um so this year i'm just gonna write two mum slash nan from and then all the family in there so like they have one card from all of us and um, i just think that's gonna be easier this year obviously because me being almost due it's gonna be easier that way now these have been very famous on the Poundland appreciation society which i'll always link up which i'll we'll link down below so you can go and join it um, they've been famous on YouTube. Everyone loves these. So these are the wine glasses. I think they bought these out for Christmas, but they're absolutely gorgeous. Hefty weight on them as well. Um, so I've picked up a lovely like blush pink one. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then I've picked up a silver one. So obviously I'm going to have the blush pink one and my partner's going to have the silver one. But obviously I'm due on the 18th of December. So I'm due a week before Christmas. Um, but I don't know if he's going to last with then I think he might come a bit early but hopefully not but obviously on Christmas day I want a glass of my favourite wine only one glass like I'm not asking for more I just want one glass of my favourite wine so I bought us some Christmas glasses to put on our table to go with our theme and um, we do have add a bit of silver into like our Christmas theme because obviously it goes with the blue and it goes with the pink Um, so my partner's got the silver one I've got to put these somewhere where they're not going to break now Yes, yeah, so my partner's got the silver one and I've got the blush pink one. That's the lovely quality. Um, and I can't wait to use those for Christmas. And then I also bought the matching tumbler glasses as well. Because I thought we can't just have the wine glasses and not have the tumbler glasses. So I bought the silver tumbling, tumbling, tumbler glasses it's called. I call it, yeah, a tumbler glass and I've got the blush pink one as well. So, like, we've got the matching set. So, they've got the wine glass and the thing to go with it. Cause we, we're not actually much of, we're not actually that much of alcohol drinkers. So, I thought they, these wine glasses might just be pulled up for, like, Christmas Day or whatever. Or on special occasions. Um, But we drink a lot of water with our food or juice or stuff like that. So, I thought these will be used all year round anyway. So, are the wine glasses, but... Just think they're beautiful and again a pound each is amazing i picked up these christmas ponacetti i can't pronounce that but these beautiful red flowers now these are for a craft that i'm doing a diy this year i've decided to make my own door wreath i've never had a christmas wreath before so i thought i'd make my own make it a little bit extra special and um, the only thing i forgot to pick up in poundland um actually i was looking at the lights and they didn't have any of the lights i wanted i want some string lights to put round the reef so that it glows up in the night um but i've got got these to go like round the reef for now i'll tip what i'll do is I'll, my instagram is always linked below so once i've made the reef i'll pop a photo up on my instagram so you guys can see and i also will be popping a picture up on um poundland appreciation site anyway so i got those this item here was £2, but I could not leave it there. Um, this is the limited edition Dettel, and this is their Christmas scent. This is their fresh scent. Um, and honestly, guys, oh my goodness, I've just sprayed it all over me, but it it's absolutely gorgeous. If you can get your hands on this, even just spray a little bit or buy it because it, it smells of Christmas berries. That's all I'm saying. It is a berry scent. Um, and obviously this kills 99% of bacteria. You can use this on um, in the air. I believe you can use this on, oh, we go, your toilet areas, your rubbish bins, which I'll be definitely using in my rubbish bin because my bins stink. Your kitchen sink, your door handles, bath taps, show it. You can basically use it on anything. So like I'll be using this on our bed and everything like that to make it smell more Christmassy because soon my Christmas bedding is coming out. Um, so yeah. I've got that and that was a two pound item. I'm making Gabriella her first Christmas 
Christmas Eve box this year. She didn't want, didn't have one last year because she was only one year old. She didn't really understand. This year, I've seen a really nice frozen Christmas Eve box for two pound fifty in Asda's. So I'm gonna pick that up for her. But to go in there, I thought I want to read her a little book this year just before bed. Um, and I found this one in in Poundland, and she likes rabbits. And this is just says Santa's little helper. So I'm gonna give this a good put this in her Christmas Eve box, and then on Christmas night, read it. Uh, before she goes to sleep before Santa comes and then I've picked up three of these um, photo frames again as you know I'm doing Christmas gifts this year photo Christmas gifts basically and I needed three of these bigger frames to put the photos in these are just plain white so I think the white and the black um, will go nice together and plus the people I'm doing them for they've got a very like standard colour in their, in their houses so like the white and the black will go nice with their house so I've bought those. They were a pound each. I'm sorry if this haul's very jumbled. Like, I haven't set it out into order or anything. Um, so, yeah, you do have to bear with me. Next things I bought are actually for my... I'm thinking of using these in my kitchen. If not, I'll use them in probably Gabriella's bedroom. Um, but these are the icicle lights. So, they're little, like, icicles. And I've seen these on someone's uh, YouTube haul, Poundland haul, and they're really beautiful. So I'm either going to use them in my kitchen or I may use a pack in my kitchen actually and then a pack in Gabriella's room. I'm not too sure but I bought these for the windows anyway and I just think they're really really cute. And I do believe the light on them is blue so it's really really nice. Um, I then picked up this dishmatic. Uh, dishmatic no this bathmatic. I've seen it and I absolutely love like I swear by the dishmatic that they've they have and i saw this bath matting and it basically says a dual clean sponge for your bathroom friend dual action wipes and cleans so you obviously have the scrubby side to clean the bath and then the like soft side to like make it shiny basically and i just thought and you can use this on shower tiles mirrors and baths so this is going to come in handy because i needed one of these and again this was a pound that's incredible. I'm actually, next time I go to Poundland, I might pick up another one, just so that I'm stocked up. Back on to Christmas stuff. Like I said, this is just a random haul, guys. I'm trying to get it all done so the video's not too long. So I'm sorry if it's rushed, and I'm sorry if it's very Christmassy, but I'm in the Christmas spirit already. And I know we're only in November, but... Like I said, I've bought two of these chair covers. Now, I'm not too sure how good they are, but I've bought them because I just thought they looked cute on our chairs, and that's if Gabrielle doesn't destroy them. So yeah, I've bought two of these chair covers. They're in the dark blue, way more of like the light blue. Um, like more of this kind of blue. Like more of the lightish blue, but it's blue. It's gonna go with our colour scheme anyway. Um so I bought two of the um cover the chair covers to go over our chairs. Unfortunately, they won't fit over Gabriella's high chair, so I would have bought one for her. But yeah, I've just bought those for our chairs for the table because I thought they looked really cute. So the next thing I bought, I'm sorry if these rattle, rap, sorry if these rattle a lot or do your head in, but I bought two of these hamper sets. Now this comes with the um, cellophane um, and it comes with like the wormies as I call them and then it comes with the ribbon. Obviously I'm making hampers this year so I needed these. So I've got one with the red ribbon, one with the gold ribbon. Um, I will have to pick up another pack, but like I said, I've got to find a basket first. I don't want to be picking up the stuff and then not having a basket for it. So once I find the basket, I'm going to pick up another pack of these. But I've got two of those for now, so I can just start making the hampers up. Now, the next thing I got is, again, I've seen it on the Poundland Appreciation Society. Um, and I've seen the ideas they've done to it, and I absolutely love it. Unfortunately, there was two left on the shelf, but one of them was cracked, or else I would have picked both of them up. So I am trying to get my hands on another one of these to put on my fireplace. And these are these beautiful silver Christmas trees. Now, on my fireplace, I have a little bit of space on there next to my photos where I can put, like, Christmassy bits. And I thought these Christmas trees would be nice. Now, what people have been doing with these, because they have, like, this speckle design where you can see inside, there's actually a hole at the bottom where you can put, like, a tea light. Um, obviously, like, an LED tea light. So I've actually gone and bought an LED tea light as well four pack and i got blue because obviously blue's our theme but obviously it's going to be underneath here anyway but i'm going to put one of these under there maybe glue it under there actually um yeah so i need to get my hands on another one of these to go the other side of my fireplace but i think this is absolutely beautiful this again this one was a pound again i've got to move my brother's dog or else i'm gonna break him i don't want to break him my brother's obsessed with him and yeah and again i've bought the 
blue tea lights you get four little tea lights in there these will come in handy anyway because i don't like using like real tea lights with gabriella because she does like going up to them and looking at them so i didn't buy any real ones and then obviously to do the diy reef um i needed the actual reef itself now this ain't big this is like a small di like a small reef but it's gonna do for what i want like i don't want a big reef on my door i just want something small and date so we can put other bits like merry christmas sign or something on the door as well so i got this one now the only problem i have with these is like the paint's coming off and there's chips in them like all of them that i'm looking at were um the same so i just grabbed this one for now um hopefully i could put like white paint or spray it white i'll do something but once it's got its lights and its stuff on it um because i'm actually gonna put like you'll see a picture i'm not gonna spoil it for you guys but yeah i've bought some bits to make a reef so i got that it's full christmas day i like gabriella to have her own little outfit now she has a because she's obsessed with spider-man she actually had a spider-man christmas jumper for her birthday this year um of her auntie um so i've put that away into our christmas storage box for now and then she's gonna wear that either christmas eve or something like that but on christmas day i wanted her to have like a special little dress um there was lots of there weren't really actually there weren't lots of choices there were a variety of choices but not a load um but there weren't really i like there that i really liked um so i've just compromised with this one for now because i just thought it was cute it's a little red dress with this on and i think because it has a reindeer on she actually has a bow with a, a christmas reindeer on so i think it'll go nicely with that um and this is from the baby section but this is in two to three and this was four pound um so i'm gonna put this away for her I'm actually going to put this in her Christmas Eve box because um, obviously then she can be like either in a Christmas Eve box or I might wrap it up for her for Christmas. I'm not too sure about that yet. I might put her Spider-Man jumper in her Christmas Eve box so that she can wear it on Christmas Eve and then actually wrap this up for Christmas for her so that she can wear it on Christmas Day and open it Christmas Day. But I think it's just beautiful. So yeah, that was £4. Again, that was from the baby section. We had other dresses there but that was the one I liked the most. So there's the other two um, TY collectibles for my daughter for her Christmas stocking because she loves them. If anybody, just to put it out there if you're watching my video, if anybody um, kids loves collecting those and you get them a pound land, the range have just bought out series three. Now I've got them here so I'm just going to show you. These ain't a pound or I'm just saying these are from the range but they've got series threes out and they're three pound a box. Um, I know probably like next year they're going to be in Poundland, but we've bought those for Gabriella's Christmas Eve box as well, but they're in the range of three quid. I thought I'd put it in this video because I know there is people that watch my videos that do collect those, but their well, their kids collect them. So there's three pound a box in the range for series three. Um, so yeah. So obviously I'm making like um, like a self-care hamper basically with a shampoo and stuff like that. Um, and I've actually lost the shampoo to this. No, I haven't. So the first thing I picked up is I needed um shampoo and conditioner for one of the hampers and i'm hoping this fits in there because they're quite big but i love this brand anyway it's the alberto balsam range this is the tea tingle so this is the mint one um yeah i don't like the scent of this one i prefer the raspberry and the apple one but this one said it's for um like a i don't know it's for itchy scalp thing and the person that i'm these are for they have like sensitive skin and um stuff like that basically um and i thought these would be the best for them um so yeah i just bought the tea tree tingle um the shampoo and the conditioner to go in their hamper then i bought um a pack of these big three action razors you get four in there again this is just to go in the hamper for my brother actually because he's just started shaving and then to go with that, I bought the um, Gillette Match 3 Extra Comfort Shaving Gel to go with that. Because I thought that would be nice to have like a shaver and um, some shaving gel. I bought some Bath Crumble to go in one of the hampers. I wish I picked up two packs of these now because my brother actually likes using a little bit of bath bomb as well. So these are just basically like broken bath bomb. Um, and I think for a pound, the, firstly, the packaging is gorgeous. And secondly, I just think that's an incredible value for a pound. Because, like, if you bought that in Lash, it'd probably be, like, six, seven quid, maybe more. I bought the Flower Fever Fragrance Body Spray. This smells... I'm not going to spray it. 
but it smells um divine this is from soft and gentle this smells divine this does i wish i picked one up for myself but this is again one of the hampers now that i've got the stuff the hampers i can start putting together and see what i actually really need um then i picked up this radox feel free long lasting fragrance this is scented with matcha green tea and coconut water this is a body wash now in answers these are three quid and i just got this in pound and for pound but it doesn't smell like the green tea or the coconut it smells like watermelon and again i wish i picked one up for myself but my mind was more set of christmas gifts to get them out and wait getting them out of the way because obviously i don't know when baby's coming so i just want to get christmas over and done with this year uh, but apparently you apply it to your body using your hands or a puff loofah that's what i really need to get i've got to get some body loofahs but i'll get those in my weekly shop anyway um and then through the day like you can smell the scent like it's a 12 hour scent apparently um so i bought again my this is more from this is for my mum because i know she likes radox um so yeah next time i go to pound and i think i might actually pick one up doors for me because i'm in need of um shower gel then the last three things i'm going to show you again sorry if this holds rushed so I've bought, picked up the Sanex JMO Moisturising Hydrates and Softens Skin. Um, this is for normal to dry skin. Again, one of the hampers I'm making for the person suffers with eczema and dry skin and stuff like that. So I thought this um, shower gel would be more, or shower cream, oh no, it's a shower gel, um, would be more safe for them. And then I bought the Medipure Hair and Sculpt anti dandruff Shampoo. This is for my brother because... I'm not going out to buy him head and shoulders when this smells the same um, and does the same job. Yeah, it smells just like head and shoulders, so, and it's a pound, so, you know, he also has his Radox, which he normally uses on his hair anyway. Not his Radox, his original source. And then the last thing I bought um, is for the person that I'm making a hamper, one of the people that I'm making a hamper for, um, I'm actually doing them a separate little gift as well, where it's going to be like, a whiskey glass with a little bottle of whiskey in um, and then I'm gonna put these in the back so the whiskey glass goes in front with the whiskey and then they have these um, they call chocolates these are the Jim Bean bourbon whiskey chocolates so I thought like with these and then the the whiskey glass and then the whiskey and I thought I'll just make another nice little gift for them as well as their self-care hamper because um, they love whiskey so yeah that is literally my haul guys it was a very long haul i know very big and now i've got to go and sort all this out that's gonna be fun um but if again i'm sorry if i rushed it um like i said i didn't want this video to be too long for you guys um, but i hope it gives you an idea what christmas stuff you can get um i will be go i go to poundland every weekend so i do pick up stuff every now and again but sometimes it's not enough to do a haul so i will collect some bits in the next time i go to poundland and i'll do another haul because i love poundland it's one of my favorite stores but yeah, if you did enjoy this video, do give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, then please do subscribe. Click that subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I upload because I don't have an upload schedule at the moment. Obviously, with me being pregnant, I don't really want to have a schedule just in case one day baby decides to come and then I don't have a video up to upload. So do press that um, notification bell to be uploaded, be uploaded, to be notified when I upload. And I shall see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.